Well, you said I can't go to the bathroom. So back in high school, I had this ass hat teacher who hated my guts. It didn't help that he had my older sister in his drama club, whom he loved but I happened to be the exact opposite of her. I had undiagnosed, unmedicated ADHD and struggled with severe insomnia at the time, so I would often doodle in class to stay awake. He didn't like that and wanted me to be present for the entire lecture, and only spend any time in that class doing whatever he assigned, even if I finished my work early. For this petty ass reason, he would deliberately round down my grades, i.e. he would grade my essays a 79.4 so he didn't have to give me a B, and my GPA took a serious nosedive because of it. It got to a point that during a parent-teacher conference, he told my mother that I was insignificant and that he didn't care for my behavior. She told me to do exactly as he says and stay under his radar, so I don't fail the class. If I wanted to go to the bathroom, I had to wait until he said I could. Our passing periods were only two minutes or so, so I could only ever get to the bathroom at lunch. So I'd be sitting there, desperately needing to pee and he would just ramble on and on. Back then, I used to have explosive nosebleeds whenever room was too dry, if I was feeling anxious, etc. He decides to pick on me to do a bell ringer, and to write this long ass sentence on the board. He wanted me to write the whole thing out, rather than whatever the solution was. As I start writing, cue explosive nosebleed, and malicious compliance. I pinch my nose and blood is dripping down my arm. He looks aghast, and asks if I need to go to the bathroom. I look him dead in the eye and say something like, No, you told me I can't go to the bathroom until you say I can go. He just stares at me silently as I continue writing this whole paragraph and I drip blood all over the floor. I then sit at my desk, nose still pinched, dripping on the desk, and wait patiently for everyone's bell ringers to be read. After they finish, he meekly says, Name, please go to the bathroom. I stand up and confidently stroll out of the room, blood drops leaving a trail behind me. He stopped giving me a hard time about bathroom breaks after that. You know what they say, blood is scarier than pee. You shouldn't have pinched your nose. Just let it go full throttle, and when he asked you a question walk right over to him and say you couldn't hear him. Why didn't he just say you could go right then and there? And I thought you were going to write the bell ringer on the board with your blood. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.